Hi everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you four unique PPC strategies that you can use today to increase your ad sales and improve your ACoS. My team has already used these strategies to create millions of dollars worth of ad sales for our clients. And in this video, I'll show you how to set them up, what they look like, and what type of results you can expect from each strategy. So you can start right away and create these in your own account. Let's dive right in. Strategy number one is called a gold panning campaign. A gold panning campaign is a low volume, low ACoS strategy that you can use to increase your ad sales with minimal effort. A gold panning campaign is essentially a sponsored product manual campaign that targets keywords in broad match with very low bids. The way it works is you set up a campaign with a lot of loosely relevant broad match keywords for your product. For example, if your product's castor oil, you might target keywords like oil, castor, skin oil, cooking oil, all in broad match. And you do this with hundreds of keywords in a single campaign, all with very low bids. I'm talking 10, 20 cent bids. And eventually what happens is because you have so many keywords and you have a product that supposedly has a good search volume and you have it in broad match, which means you might be showing up for a lot of search terms, eventually you're gonna get clicks. And if you got a couple of clicks each month across hundreds of keywords, it adds up to enough clicks to get a decent number of conversions. And if you do this for a large number of products in your catalog, you might end up generating thousands, tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of sales monthly, quarterly, or annually, depending on the size of your account. This strategy is good because it's low ACoS and it's low maintenance. It's a set it and forget it campaign. You never change bids first, you never change placement boosts or anything else. You just create this once. You put the keywords that you can find inside of it. You set it up in broad match, low bids. You put your products in and that's it. The campaign runs itself. I suggest doing this for all of the decently high volume products in your catalog and just create this, set it up. Generally, the ACoS is gonna be within the eight to 25% range, depending on what you're usually seeing with your account. And it's usually very profitable. So I'd set this up as soon as possible, and you can generally expect to get good results out of this. Our second strategy is called a catch-all campaign. So a catch-all campaign is similar to a gold panning campaign in that it's a low ACoS, low volume strategy, but it differs because it's an auto campaign this time instead of a sponsored product manual campaign. But essentially the way that this works is you create an auto campaign with a lot of different products in that ad group for the auto campaign and you add very, very low bids to the targets within the auto campaign. So again, within the range of 10 to 20 cents and without a placement boost, unless you do very well on a certain placement, you could add a placement boost to that. Otherwise, just leave it at zero. And then since you have so many products in that auto campaign and the auto campaign will try to find search terms for each product, you end up showing for a lot of different search terms. And even if your bid is low, you're bound to get some clicks and those clicks eventually turn into sales and you could generate thousands, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars per month at an eight to 15% ACoS for the account, depending on what the size of the account currently is. This is again, a zero maintenance strategy. It's set and forget and it's super low ACoS. So I'd suggest you set this up for your account as soon as possible. Our third strategy is called the waterfall campaign. So the waterfall campaign is very similar to the catch all campaign because it is a low bid auto campaign with a lot of ASINs. But this time, instead of adding all of your ASINs into one ad group, you're creating an auto campaign with hundreds or thousands of ad groups and each ASIN in its own ad group. The reason some people prefer this over a catch all campaign is because when you have each ASIN in its own ad group, you have a clear separation of the search terms between the ASIN. So as with a catch-all campaign, you might end up with random ASINs showing up for random search terms, which you could claim waste ad spend, even though catch-all is still a low ACoS strategy. But with waterfall campaigns, you're only generating relevant search terms for each ASIN, and you get the benefit of having low bids and a large number of ASINs, so eventually being able to spend, get clicks, and make sales. Waterfall is just a better structured, better organized way of doing catch-all, but they both work, and they're both pretty solid strategies that you can use in your own account. The fourth and final strategy is called a ranking campaign. So a ranking campaign is actually a high ACoS, high volume strategy that's designed to get you to rank as high as possible for your target keywords. So whereas with the other strategies, we were bidding on a large number of targets with low bids and no placement boost to try to get low cost clicks. With this strategy, we're actually bidding on a single target with very high bids, high placement boosts, and attempts to get as much volume as possible to help us rank for that keyword. So what you do essentially is create a sponsored product manual campaign and you use the exact match and you put a single keyword in there with a single ASIN in the ad group and then you just bid very high for this keyword. So you bid at the top of the suggested bid range and you just run it at this level with maybe a 100% placement boost and you add whatever budget you can afford to spend. And what you do is you don't look at ACoS but you look at the total sales volume that you're driving from this keyword and you track your rank for this keyword over time. So you wanna see every two weeks where your rank is for this keyword for the product that you're advertising and you want to see continual progress. Your rank goes up and up and up. 
And eventually that brings in organic sales, which helps you maintain profitability for this ASIN and for this gear despite the excessive spending. And eventually actually lowers your tackles potentially and definitely increases your sales. So the reason people use ranking campaigns is because if you target a certain ACoS on all of your keywords, you're going to reach a point where you're no longer growing and you're no longer increasing your market share. And once you reach that point, you're going to have to find the solution. And the most common solution is to just spend more on your main keywords to try to increase your volume on them, rank higher, and therefore get more visibility, sales, and market share. And the reason this works is that Amazon uses your sales volume on individual keywords to try and determine what your organic rank should be. So if you artificially raise your sales volume on a keyword using campaigns, Amazon takes that as a signal that you're relevant to these keywords and potentially increases your organic rank on them, which helps you drive new sales, new organic sales, and maybe even improve your tackles. All right, guys, that's it for the four strategies. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And if you need help with your PPC, please go to www.aihello.com. Book a call with us. If you want to reach out to me personally, you can find me at safe, S-A-I-F, at aihello.com. I hope you guys found this useful, and I'll see you again next week. Have a great day.